Topic 4.1, that is enthalpy, answers to the fact file questions from SIA. So the born haber cycle for calcium oxide is shown below. Which one of the following is a correct statement about the cycle? So statement A states the electron affinity of oxygen is Q. We can see here oxygen is just going from half O2 to O, that is not gaining any electrons. That's not electron affinity. The second one, the second ionization of the base calcium is P. So we've got calcium ion here going to a calcium 2 plus ion. So that is correct. Uh, the first D it should be C, shouldn't it? The enthalpy of formation of calcium oxide is S. Well, clearly it's not because we're going from calcium oxide to the um, ions. And then the bond association enthalpy of oxygen is R. Um, again, oxygen has already kind of dissociated here for in Q, so it's incorrect. So the answer is B. Question two, all of the chlorides form solutions when added to water. Sodium chloride dissolves in water by, the, by an overall endothermic process. It's explained by the following. So the sodium chloride solid separates into its gaseous ions. In this equation, NaCl solid gives you Na plus a gas and Cl minus a gas. And the enthalpy for that reaction is plus 776. So the gaseous ions dissolve to form aqueous ions. And you have Na plus and Cl minus. Uh, plus Aq just represents the water, gives you Na plus and Cl minus, both aqueous. And the enthalpy change for that is minus 771 kilojoules. So what is the name for the enthalpy value delta H1? And that should say kilojoules there, shouldn't it? Not just K. So that is the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride. And then for delta H2, this one here, it's the hydration enthalpy. Then it says delta H3 is the enthalpy of solution. Draw a labelled diagram to show the relationship between delta H1, delta H2 and delta H3. So just looking at these equations here, we're going to be adding in uh, the the two little equations here. And so we have NaCl solid at the bottom, giving you the NaCl, or sorry, the Na ions and the Cl minus ions here with the gas, and that's delta H1. Delta H2 then takes you into solution. So delta H3 is the change from the solid sodium chloride to the uh, aqueous ions. Then the value of delta H3, well, delta H1 is minus, is sorry, plus 776. Delta H2 minus 771, the difference is plus 5. Next, we have a born haber cycle for potassium iodide. The lattice enthalpy is labelled. Other enthalpy changes are shown by the letters A to E. State the, or for the following question, state which letter A to E represents the enthalpy changes. The standard enthalpy of formation of potassium iodide from the elements in their standard states to the solid is E. The first electron affinity of iodine, so there's iodine just as a gas and as a an ion so the first electron affinity is d first ionization energy of potassium so we're going from potassium gas to potassium ion so that's b and then the enthalpy of atomization of potassium is there's potassium going to gaseous atoms so it is a Then calculate the lattice enthalpy of potassium iodide. So I've just got here the when we look at the diagram. Oh, mm, 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 mm. so we're just putting in all of the values. So and changing the signs accordingly. It's a bit difficult to get both or to get them on the same page. But you see here what I've got is minus uh the uh, minus three two seven point six plus eighty nine point five plus four twenty plus one hundred and six point six minus two hundred ninety five point four and that gives six hundred forty eight point three kilojoules per mole. 
Next it asks, uh, potassium chloride has a lattice enthalpy of plus 710 kilojoules per mole and that for potassium bromide is plus 679. It's did three other enthalpy changes in a Born Haber cycle for these compounds which would be different. So the first one is the bond enthalpy or the enthalpy of atomization is going to be different for each of the compounds. The first electron affinity is going to be different because the first one's chloride, the second one's bromide, and then the enthalpy of formation will be different for the three, or sorry, for the two as well. And potassium chloride is very soluble in water. Write an equation including state symbols to represent potassium chloride dissolving in water. So we've got KCl for potassium chloride, AQ for the water, and then the two ions K plus and Cl minus, which are both aqueous and potassium chloride is solid to begin with. Then the enthalpy change of hydration for the potassium ion is minus 305 and the value for chloride ion is minus 384. Using the lattice enthalpy value stated in C for potassium chloride, calculate the enthalpy change when one mole of potassium chloride is dissolved in water. So in C it tells you Back again. So in C, it tells you that the uh, the value is seven hundred and ten. I mean, hell, I haven't done this for a while. Just a little technical issue. So 710 from the value in C there, and then minus 305 minus 384 gives you plus 21, and that's kilojoules per mole. So which one of the following then represents the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride? So we're looking for the solid sodium chloride giving you the two gaseous ions. So it has to be D. Number four, magnesium chloride is a water-soluble organic compound formed from magnesium and chlorine. Complete the Born-Haber cycle for magnesium chloride. So just working our way up, we have magnesium here and chlorine gas. So the next step then, we're going to have the magnesium gas. And I keep the chlorine as a gas, then the magnesium ion, Mg+, plus, um, and then magnesium uh, two plus ion and then the chlorine gas uh, Cl2 going to so just Cl so that's atomization of chlorine and then we have the electron affinity for the chlorine so then using the data calculate the first electron affinity of chlorine so what's really important is you realize from the equation here it's 2Cl minus, and then you're just plugging the values in. So 2 times the electron affinity is equal to, and then we're just sticking in the values from here. So 2 times 121, so that's minus that, minus 1450, minus 736, minus 150, minus 642, and then plus uh, 2493 gives you minus 727. So that is, remember, 2 times the electron affinity, so divide it by 2, and the answer is uh, minus 363.5. Finally, give the electron structure of magnesium ions. So magnesium atom would be uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So magnesium ions are 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And the chloride ions then have gained an electron, so 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Then magnesium chloride dissolves in water and has an enthalpy of minus 155. Define the term enthalpy of solution. So we're just looking for here the enthalpy change when one mole of a solute dissolves in water. That's it. Thank you.